So thanks to my wonderful polymer clay community, I have hit 1,000 subscribers. Hi and welcome back to the Pond McClay channel. So you'll notice that I'm still not quite there yet with my voice. I seem to have gone deaf in my right ear now as well, but you know, I'm still here and I'm gonna work on that. Um, so today I'm gonna show you how to make polymer clay jewelry. And by that, I mean just beads and some wire and some findings, and it's gonna be great. So here we go. Thank you. 
Thanks for watching the tutorial. So I'm going to show you what they look like now. I'm going to start with the bracelet. So here we go. Hopefully you can see this uh, well enough. I'm going to hold this up as far as I can. But obviously what I normally do is put photos at the end. So you'll be able to see it in a lot more detail. What I'm basically showing here is literally how big it is against my hand. And what the design of it looks like all at once so we used a t-bar connection the reason why i do that is it's really really simple to attach to wire and it takes no glue and it's so so simple and it just goes in and connects so that is what the bracelet looks like i absolutely love it as i said i'm going to put some pictures at the end so you'll be able to see exactly what it looks like but i like to show people the design of it and how it sort of looks um in person a bit more close up so here are the earrings. This is how they turned out. I absolutely love these. I've never, I haven't made jewelry for a really, really long time, and I've forgotten how much fun it is. Now, obviously, the FIMO part is just literally the green beads, and the rest of it is sort of metal findings and wire. But I wanted to bring them together to show you just how easy it really is. So moving on to the next one. So these ones I actually did cover in mica powder, put some dots in. I don't like them quite as much as I do the other ones. But I wanted to show you just how simple it is to make earrings with just a little bit more wire. So I also did a couple of pendants. Um, this is really weird because not only is it not round or any particular shape, it's wonky in places. But you know what? I absolutely love it. And on to the next one. Now this one's again really nice and simple, nice and flat. I enjoyed that because it was just so simple, literally a cutter and a texture sheet with some mica powder and then some fancy wire work there. And it's as simple as that. So let's go back to the bracelet because that's my favorite. So this is How You Make Jewelry from Paula McClay. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. So as you will have seen from the intro and the other intro and this intro and every intro, I cannot talk. Why can I not talk? So it's really hard to talk when you're deaf in this ear. Might need subtitles for this one. <sighs> Welcome back to, uh, oh please pangulus kick in. Please, for the love of my sanity. Hi and welcome back to the Polymer Clay channel. So you'll notice my, my, the words of my hearing, yeah my hearing is banged up. Banged up hearing, no tooth, I can't talk. Doing well. So uh, I actually really love this. This has turned out really, really nice. Hopefully that's picking up on the bracelet and not me right now. Um, I use the T-bar connection so that I'll have um, a circle on this side and it's gonna roll off. It's gonna roll off. Uh, it's gonna roll off my arm. Should I do it like this? Obviously, this is the one that I did for the cutter. I uh, used the texture sheet and then pop some mica, mica, 